so I'm just gonna give you a glimpse on the tickets that we get on a daily basis and what kind of tickets we work on in IT and to start it off the ticketing system that we use is called fresh service so the system is pretty simple the user will open a ticket and that will generate an automated email that we will get so we will be notified that a new ticket was opened and after that the ticket will be assigned to whoever wants to work on it or whoever specializes on that kind of issue or request and then we will also change the status and there's different status on this ticketing system there's open pending pending vendor pending customer in progress resolved and closed so it's pretty straightforward once the ticket is assigned we will change the status to in progress if we have started working on it pending depends if we are waiting for the customer it will be pending customer pending vendor if we are waiting for information from third-party vendors and closed if we have fixed the issue or resolved it okay so one of the ticket that we got says today i brought back a PC to my old office after being at my house since March of 2020. I set it up for the most part but it needs to be hooked up to the internet and video router. So I assigned a ticket to myself. It's pretty simple. Uh, it needs to be hooked up to the internet which means it needs to be connected to our corporate network and when I checked the computer it was on the wrong VLAN so I just switched the VLAN and it's all good to go okay so the next ticket is a user was assigned this extension upon hire back in May 2022 he typically sits at his phone and would like his extension placed on his phone below is a screenshot of the phone we are requesting his extension to be assigned to please let me know if there's more action needed on our end so that's one of the nicer tickets because they have sent a screenshot with the information that we need because sometimes users don't put enough information for us to resolve or troubleshoot the issue so we have to keep going back and forth to ask more information from them so this time the user is pretty much educated on how to open proper tickets and we can just uh, finish this issue right away okay another ticket is we cannot view graphics that are sent to us from the graphics department tried opening them with windows media player vlc media player movies and tv we need to be able to preview and approve these graphics before using them in edit they are mov file Okay, so it all depends on what type of company you are working for and supporting. The users have different kinds of files that they handle and work on. So for this case, since I work in a broadcast and TV station company, they really do a lot of graphics and video. And for this issue, they're trying to open an MOV file. MOV file is a file type for Apple devices and sometimes when you play it on Windows devices it's not compatible so you have to convert it so that's most likely what is going to resolve the issue. Okay, here's another ticket. When my system booted back up, my mouse and keyboard stopped working. Tried restarting a couple of times but they won't mount. The LEDs light up when the system powers on, but at login, the LEDs go away and the keyboard and mouse don't work. So after troubleshooting the issue, this is really the USB port drivers that were corrupted, not really the, a keyboard and mouse issue. So once the drivers were updated, they started working again. Another common issue that we get is this one needs help resetting her password she has no access to email so that's a pretty common issue that the user has they always tend to forget uh, changing their password every three months so it expires and we have to reset them and that's probably the easiest issue that an IT professional has to resolve next is another ticket that's also commonly encountered by IT professionals install facilities on user's laptop 
So in this case, it depends on the company, but users always request to install certain software that they need or use in their laptop and most of the time only IT has admin rights to machines and we are the only ones uh, allowed to install software. Okay, so last ticket on our list for today. Having a lot of issues working on laptop, likely due to having a roaming profile. Now that we are transitioned to laptop work, please disable my roaming profile. So roaming user profiles redirects user profiles to a file share so that users receive the same operating system and application settings on multiple computers. So roaming profiles are used if a user uses multiple machines in the building or in your company because what it does is it copies all of the settings and configurations and files and data on the user profile and then moves it to the machine where they're trying to log into. So for example, uh, a sad user is moving all around the building to do their work and they really don't have a dedicated workstation of their own, the roaming profile is needed. But it becomes an issue if the user accumulated a lot of files or data, like gigabytes of data. The issue happens when they're trying to log in since it's copying everything from the network to the current machine that they're trying to log into. Sometimes like five gigabytes of data is copying and it takes minutes or a long time for them to log in instead of just seconds when you're using your own dedicated computer. So that's becoming an issue for a lot of users.